Hi, I'm Lita Sabirajski. I'm from New York. I have a studio in Brooklyn that I share with my husband, Wade. About four years ago, I quit my full-time job. And during that time, I started working a lot on my own. I was working out of my bedroom. Um, and I was by myself all the time. And so I decided to go onto a dating website. Um, I put myself out there um, and was looking for somebody who was also in design. Um, and this guy named Wade sent me a message. And uh, we had our first date. And after that, we were never apart. And uh, we decided to come up with a portrait project together. We found this really ridiculous photo on the internet of um, a man and a woman sucking on a banana. <laughs> and so we used that as, a, as, as the inspiration for our first image. And um, based off of that, we created a few more, um, launched a project, and then um, just decided to see where to take it. Uh, it lasted for about two years. Um, uh, we concluded with 58 images, and we realized, okay, we want to work together on a larger level. We want to start a studio together. We also need to be married so that Wade could have citizenship in the U.S. because he's Australian. And then, uh, yeah, from there, he's got his green card, and we got a studio after that, a studio space, and. We've been working together professionally for the past year and a half now. So I hope that other people, you know, gain optimism from our individual story and hope that they can also see some positivities in working, you know, with a with a romantic other. Uh, typically when we work on something together now, this became like a very organic process. We typically work separately um, and we, we come up with our own ideas, um, spend some time honing in on those, those directions and then we come together, we talk about it, we combine things. It's, it's funny because, you know, when you're a cook or something, you could never want somebody, you would never, you know, give your, your project or your, your um, culinary masterpiece to somebody else to, to continue working on. I think that people in New York are pretty supportive of one another, and um, the, the design circle is still quite small. Uh, for example, in our studio, um, it's in this building called the Pencil Factory, and it's um, six floors of design studios, illustrators, um, music, like record labels, and uh, everybody knows one another, and we end up working with one another as well. Yeah, everybody hustles and everybody works really hard. And I think because of that, it, um, it encourages you to have a competitive um, mindset too because you know, your friend is hustling really hard and you want to hustle too just so that <laughs> you guys have something to talk about afterwards.